Now, it may not look like it, but there's over 40,000 baby smallmouth bass in this little pond. And since the gates were open to release the water and the fish, it's not much more than a mud puddle right now. That's because most of these little fish are being moved into the big lake, Lake Shelbyville. And a few thousand of them are going to be stocked below the dam. The history of the Kaskaskia River prior to Lake Shelbyville was it had a very strong population of smallmouth bass in reaches that were later impounded by this Lake Shelbyville. Um, there currently is a population that survives below the spillway in the Kaskaskia River below the lake. But it's about time we get them back into Lake Shelbyville. What we're trying to do is um, diversify the fishery and establish a population that is self-sustaining in the lake. The fish being used for this project are not new or introduced species to the lake, which means their reintroduction is safe for the rest of the fish in the lake. We collected brood stock from the Kaskaskia River below the lake, transported those to Jake Wolf Memorial Hatchery, and they um, bred the fish for us in the hatchery and then we stocked the fry, small fry, into the nursery pond here and raised them to a larger size. So at the hatchery we actually have indoor rearing tanks and outdoor ponds. So we actually do a couple different kinds of culture at the hatchery. However, these bass were actually in outdoor ponds. So they were actually under very natural conditions and they were breeding just like they would out in the river or out in any lake around here. I'd like to say there's a lot of hard science involved, but really it's just having a pond full of adult fish and kind of letting nature take its course. Now that's not to say there wasn't some science that went into the selection of these specific fish. There was. And we're trying to use the native brood stock because we think that there's a high likelihood that they would be genetically different and better adapted for this watershed than fish from the Illinois River watershed. And that's very important. We're finding out every year that that's more and more important as we go along. And this isn't the first time smallmouth have been stocked in Shelbyville. We have stocked smallmouth in the lake before in an attempt to try to establish a self-reproducing population, but we were limited to stocking numbers in the hundreds, not thousands that we're hoping to do here today. Now as the pond is drained and the bass are netted, it's apparent that these fish had survived very well in the rearing pond. Looks like the lake's getting way, way more than just hundreds. Anytime we see over 75%, that's a very good sign. Uh, as we're talking, we're actually over 30,000 fish already. All of the harvested fish will be split between the lake and the river below the dam. And as it turns out, the numbers are much higher than expected. We're putting about 4,500 of the 31,000 in the Kaskaskia River, and the rest are going in Lake Shelbyville. That's a very high return rate and really surprised me. But the fish that are going to the river will be treated a little bit differently. We will then mark the fish by clipping off one of their pelvic fins, which will do no damage to their behavior and uh, survival. And then we can tell which fish later on we stock versus are naturally produced in the, in the river itself. And this should really help the river's population since water levels were all over the place last spring. That, that kind of plays havoc with the population and they don't always get off a, a good spawn. In fact, uh, this year is a great example. I did uh, the Mackinac and the Iroquois and got a lot of young of the year in those populations. We did surveys down here and got zero young of the year. So this was a, this was a year where we got a failed spawning season for the smallmouth down here below the lake. So the stocking is pretty important to this population. Now, it may take a few years to really know if the stocking was successful, but if it was, it will be a great way to end a career. You see, this is Mike's last year at the IDNR, and he's been instrumental in the success of Lake Shelbyville's fishery and the creation of the Lake Shelbyville Habitat Alliance. Yeah, it turned out <laughs> good, good final, uh, what do you call it, uh, good way to go out with uh, as successful as we were. So if you start catching bronze footballs with really bad attitudes on a regular basis, you know, think of Mike, because he's not going to catch any. I'm telling you that right now. It's a good thing he's a biologist and not a guide. Trust me, I've fished with him before. In Shelbyville, this is Steve Nichols, WAND.